paying a springtime visit to Wood Walton Fen, one of my favourite reserves, especially at this time of year. And in the background there we can hear a cuckoo. You can actually see a bird way off in the top of a tree there, just but it's actually a male marsh harrier by the look of it. See as it moves its head around the grey head there. Just moving on. Absolutely gorgeous day today. There's more and more leaves appearing on the trees now. It makes it more difficult to see birds. I'm just going to take our usual route down past the Rothschild bungalow there. There's lots of uh, blossom on view, very picturesque. Beautiful walking down these sun dappled mown uh, grass rides. And here we are on our first port of call. The North Hyde overlooks quite a large area of reed bed there. And uh, way off at the very top of the tree, there's the cuckoo. Very, very distant though. And there's a female marsh harrier you know, through the heat haze there. And uh, reed bunting just flowing in, a male. We've got a mute swan just down below us there. Here's uh, got some pair of uh, marsh areas. I think there's about three pairs out there altogether. Looks like, like the male has got something in his talons. So I'm hoping we're going to see a food pass, but it doesn't look like it. Just trying to get a shot of this uh, female, a closer shot using really long lens, and uh, it's quite difficult to. Uh, to keep them smoothly in frame. Marsh Harriers have a amber status with the RSPB and there's between 320 and 380 breeding pairs in the UK. And like most birds of prey, the female is bigger than the, the male. Stunning bird though. disappears into the reeds. Okay, we're going to move on to our next port call, which is the Rothschild Mere Hyde, one of the two we're going to visit today. And there's uh, good views of flag iris. Right, and uh, we've got some four-spotted chasers. Dragonflies, one of the earliest dragonflies around. Just passing the Rothschild bungalow again, they've actually got some information on the pillars there. That's the soil level from 1910, and these are the water levels uh, through various uh, floods in various years. Just moving on. And the signs of deer here. I think this might be a roe deer. I've seen a roe deer here before, and there's Chinese water deer here, but we've never seen those. There may well be muntjac and fallow too. Okay, here we are at the Rothschild Mere Hyde. Have a look what's on view from here. This is Rothschild's Mere. On the uh, floating island there, we've got Canada geese and uh, mallard and uh, a couple of common tern too. We're just appearing out of the reeds, uh, actually, a reed warbler in view there. Got my stills camera, I'm going to try and get uh, stills, and there we are. Pretty pleased with that one. Down by the water's edge there, we've got four spotted chasers really whizzing around. I'll just film this in uh, slow motion, 100 frames per second. We've got a female sort of dipping down into the water, laying eggs. Four spotted chasers are one of the earliest dragonflies uh, to appear each spring. I've also seen some migrant hawkers though. 
Also got a, a coot with uh, some young. She's got a baby with her there. There's maybe another two or three just out of shot. And uh, blue tit just flown in there. We've just seen a, a bitten fly towards us and quickly disappear into the reeds. And there's not a lot of chance that we're going to see any more of that. So uh, let's carry on. These are channels made by cutting peat and uh, actual reserves on a peat bark. And as you can see, the peat actually stains the water red. There's not much uh, wildlife on view that I can see. Maybe it's a little bit acidic for uh, the likes of tadpoles and so on. Okay, there's, uh, as I said, there's other dragonflies on view. I think these are southern hawkers. And we've also got some uh, common blue damselflies there. Just making our way back to where we came onto the reserve now, by the cut here. And uh, there's a chiff chaff. We can hear, but uh, can't see it. Had a lot of rain last night, pretty heavy rain but it's so warm it's uh, dried up very quickly. It's usually pretty good for dragonflies and butterflies on this walk back. Uh, saw some orange tip, but not much else. We've got a, I think it's a large white on the path in front of us. And here we are, back where we started. And uh, it's been a really lovely spring day here. We're going to head home now and see you next time.